we're going to get right into the conversation for today we have a phone in segment and uh, we want you to call us and let us know what your thoughts are on this topic now this is one of those conversations that um Ghanaians largely mm. shy away from we don't typically talk about it in our general discourse you know the normal conversations we don't talk about it it happens on the quiet and a lot of people even when it happens you know mm -hmm. yeah very few people will ever suggest or say yeah. boldly that oh yeah i've done this or i'm doing this well what are we talking about here the question for today diva <laughs> we're saying <laughs> adoption yes adopting children yeah. yes or no and why? why so if yes why if no if no why okay talk to us let's know what you think now I may mean, i have my own opinions on on this issue but i also have an idea why Ghanaians largely don't broach the subject you may want to tell us that yeah i think that um what you see we we are huge on there are about three or four things when it comes to the family structure mm. that we are very big on yeah. as Ghanaians. one of them is children right we see children as heritage mm. they are our successors mm -hmm. children will carry our name and our fame right right children will carry our legacy mm. so if you look at it there are some cultures that if the if the if the family doesn't have a male child mm. it's a problem yeah you can have 10 female children they will still not be happy till there's a male child all because it's like who will carry my name I know, I know one family, their father indoctrinated his daughters because he realized that, look, after four girls, he realized that, look, I say, yeah, he will get all girls. So he indoctrinated his girls to the point where they, they, they actually decided that they will carry their father's name, name into marriage. And even one of them insisted that she will maintain her name even as a married woman. Wow. Yes. You know, so... It's a big deal. And these are some of the background reasons. Now, when you adopt a child, mm. when were you pregnant? Do you understand? <laughs> uh -huh. Because... Well, that's yes. what... That's society's perspective. Yes, yes. But I am of a strong believer mm. about... I mean, do what works for you. Yeah. Marriage is beautiful. It's mm. a beautiful institution. Children are blessings from God, as mm. we all say it. Mm. If you get married, everybody, even you are expecting to take seed after a year, two, I mean, depending on your plan. Yeah. If you're ready, some people will want to stay five years, enjoy their yep. marriage and all of that. And now when the time is due for you to want to have children and the children are not coming, what do you do? Mm. What, there are lots of children out there yeah. in, uh, on the streets and children's home who needs people to mother them, yeah. who needs people to father them. Yeah. And it just take, takes one person mm. or one act of kindness yeah. to be able to do that. Yeah. And Kweku, believe you me, adoption is such a, is such a thing that if you do not have a big heart, yeah. I'm not sure you'd be able to carry a child, no matter the age of the child you are going to adopt, even if the, the child is a baby mm. or an infant or a toddler or even a teenager, for you to nurture him or her throughout his days in, to become a full grown adult, yeah. to be able to take full responsibility of him or her so yeah. him or herself. So I think it's a big deal. But again, it's society that has made it such a problem that if you don't have a child, I mean if you don't have a <laughs> not everybody so, can give birth. So so I How think the that? conversation has to start from that place. Mm. That not everybody will give birth mm -hmm. simply because not everybody can give, give birth. birth now let me explain something medical science tells us that every time a man and a woman meet to attempt to produce a child mm -hmm. 
40%, if, if, the, if the woman doesn't get pregnant, 40% of the problem comes from the woman. 40% mm -hmm. of the problem comes from the man. 20% mm -hmm. of the rest of the problem is actually because of the incompatibility of these particular mm. two people. Mm. Think about it. Yeah. So which of the percentages are we looking at that's mm. affecting the fact that mm. you can't have a child? Right. Do you understand? It could be anywhere. You see, back in the day, it used to be that it must be the woman who has, who's at fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then as time went on, we realized that no, no, the fact that a man can have a perfectly good, you know, um, expulsion of mm -hmm. semen, mm -hmm. right, it doesn't mean that the semen have any uh, potential children inside. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that thing? Uh -huh. So the question again comes, so what do you do mm -hmm. when after three, four years, there's no child? Mm -hmm. It's adoption, adoption an, a, option. An, an option, mm. right? It's, an, it's adoption an option. And if not, why not? Yeah. Okay, this is a conversation that we want to have. I know a lot of people, a lot of you are dying to call us to share your thoughts, and we definitely want to hear from you. So, 0204 447 033. Adopting children, mm. yes or no, and why? Give us a call. Let's hear from you, okay? Now, yes. Cool, cool. Before the phone calls start coming in, uh, there was a time I was talking to an old-time friend who was married for years. He and his wife were unable to... They've tried IVF. I mean, they've tried everything mm. under the sun, and mm. still, it wasn't coming. And this is somebody... I mean, from a man's perspective, as you stated earlier, he really wants a child. Mm. And he's looking outside. The woman asked for an adoption, and he's refusing. But should, should, should the case have been the other way around, mm. or should tables have been turned, yeah. I'm sure the woman would rather patiently wait until whenever. She wouldn't want to go look outside to give it a try. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I, I, don't, I don't agree with you. Based, Why not? No, ba I, no, I, I saw it no, coming. No, 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 no. I don't agree with you based on the, the, the statistics that the Ghana Statistical <laughs> Service released recently. The statistics say that mm. there are about 60% of children mm -hmm. mm, born to families. Mm. The women don't know the men. Kweku, hold, hey, hold, hold your thought. Jifa. Hold your thought. We have a call on the line. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Joseph. Yes, yes. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing very great, thank you. I'm very well, thank you. Now, share your thoughts on the topic. Adoption of children, yes or no, and why? Adoption for children. Mm -hmm. For me, I'll go in for yes. Why? Why? Because, like she said, not everyone will be able to give birth. So, for me, if you have this understanding, going in to adopt a child shouldn't mm -hmm. be a problem. The only problem we have is, like you said, societal stigmatization. Mm -hmm. You see, you might go in for the child, and like the other colleague said, someone will say, when did you get pregnant? But in life, as you, if you know what you want, you mm. go in for what you want. Because it, even though society or people will begin to talk about it, mm. you don't look at what they are saying. Right. Another challenge that we have as in our society is, you may adopt the child. Mm -hmm. The child may go to a certain age. Mm -hmm. People in the society will begin to say some things mm -hmm. into the child's mm -hmm. mind, influence the child, mm -hmm. letting the child know that, ah, these people are not your real parents. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A situation where the child has an issue with a colleague or a neighbor. Mm -hmm then this thing will come up, will pop up. And then the child will begin to know that, ah, yeah. these people are not my, my real parents. parents. Mm. And then it will begin to trigger a lot of things mm. yeah. 
another phase that comes up is when those the parents that their children was were adopted mm -hmm. when they see that these children that were given out are now with this family mm -hmm. they now come back yeah. later on in the years ahead to fight for their child mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it makes it very difficult for those parents that went in for that child and yeah. it creates a lot of problems mm -hmm. that is why maybe people are finding it difficult to go in for yeah. to adopt a child but for me it is a yes going for it mm. that is if you are able to if you be able to cater for the child mm. going for it mm. and then if you are capable you go outside the country with your child or go somewhere with your child and raise the child that's all right <laughs> all right joseph thank you very much for your contribution thank you all right quick yeah. So no, no, he makes a very, yeah. he makes a number of very powerful points. Mm -hmm. But the one that caught my attention was how that um, people around, mm. you know, yeah. would be the ones that would be gossiping yeah. Yeah. and trying to say things to mm. the child and all of that, you know, uh, poisoning the mind mm. of the child and all of that. But I think that, again, parents need to, as a society, we need to become um, we need to shake off this yeah. this um, stigmatization mm -hmm. and the taboo that it is. Mm -hmm. You know that you can't, you shouldn't adopt children. We have to, we have to yeah. shed it off. Okay, it, it's high time we did that. Mm -hmm. It would, it would do well for us as a society right. because guess what? There are a lot of people that grow up without parents. If you go to orphanages, mm -hmm. thousands of children. Okay, thousands of children mm. in our orphanages, different different orphanages all over the country. Mm. Thousands of children. Okay, all right. We have a caller from Achimota. Mm. Uh, Grandma, please talk to me this morning. How are you? I'm fine. Wonderful. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on this uh, topic? So, adoption of children, yes or no, and why? No. No. Okay. So, so explain why you're saying no. Why is that? I have one in my family now. Mm. My sister went and adopted a child. Okay. Baby. Now the girl is very old. She didn't break down. My sister started to be break. This girl didn't allow the children to come near the fire. Now the case is in court. Mm. This adopted child. They didn't want the children. Wait, gra to come to wait, Grandma, Grandma, I want to understand something. You said that the, your sister adopted a, a child. Mm -hmm. Yes. The child is now grown up. Yes. But the grown up child has a has her own children. The man later got children. There's a woman who then got a child. So okay. She went to adopt. She went to ask adopt. Okay. Now she's there's a student are now going out. Mm. This adopted child is behaving differently. We don't want the children, the mom children come to the house. Mm. Okay. Very serious. Very serious I'm talking now. Okay, but is it but is it not because maybe she's being treated differently? No, she was very, well, even later, she had, she had abused the woman who adopted and leave the house. Okay. So, okay. I don't want to say, if she can get some of your relative child, mm. when she goes, she will come back. Mm. Okay. All right. Thank Grandma, you. Grandma, thank you very much for calling us. Thank you. Grandma, okay. Thank you. So from her perspective too, I kind of get it because she mentioned that if you are going to take care of your relative's child, mm. so maybe a distance cousin, mm. a, a niece, a nephew, or mm. somebody mm. to come live with you and mm. then cater for them. I mean, no matter what happens, they're still in the family. So mm. it's still an internal thing and mm. then they'll go and come back. But if you are able to adopt someone that's not your blood, yeah. And whatever as it has happened to them happens. I mean, the person goes and then goes forever. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, for me, I don't, 
I I understand that these things happen. Mm. I've heard of some, yeah. but I actually have quite a number of experiences that I know the people personally, firsthand, who have adopted right in Accra. Yeah, wow. they've adopted. I know at least four couples oh. who have adopted. Uh, some have their own kids and still adopted. Some were waiting for a child. It wasn't coming. They adopted and then got pregnant. Mm, you see, so. You, I, I've seen the different variations of it, right? And I feel as though, um, and they are all successful, by the way. Yeah. All of them. The ones I know have, do not have any issues that are stranger than what you normally have yeah. bringing up a child, you see. I think that sometimes, too, when a child is adopted, we can easily be impatient with the child. If a child was our own, we'll be more patient and you would have more time to bring them up properly, correct them, and all those kind of things, do you see? Anyway, so we will have yeah. a call on the line. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Breakfast Daily. Hello, good morning. Am I Thank you for the program. Am I speaking to Malco from Volta Region? Yes, please. Thank you so much for the program. All right, Malco, let's hear your thoughts. Thank you. I'll go in for no. Why? Hmm. It happened to me, I went to a cannabis based on this adopting of children. Uh, I was in diagnosis based on the testicular biopsy. I tried for several medication for me to have a baby, but not, nothing as well. But so God, good, I was able to have a baby girl. That was last year. So I decided to myself that no matter how the situation would be, whether I didn't have a child, I will never go in for any adopting of a baby in my life. It was the love that I have for that baby boy, baby girl. It will not be up to. So I will go in for no answer. Thank you, Malco. Thank you very much, Malco. Mm -hmm. No, okay, so that's an, another perspective or another angle he's coming in from where the love, as you were saying, the love or the treatment, there'll be preferential treatment. If you have an adopted child and then uh, some way, somehow you get pregnant and give birth, it, it will be, some people, you wouldn't see any much difference because they would be able to treat all of them equally, raise all of them together as a family. You see what you're family. saying just now? You see what you're saying others just now? Others It's all a choice. Yes, it's others It's a choice too, that yeah. adults must make. Yeah, you have to be intentional about these yes, things. Yes, you have to Very be intentional, intentional and say that I will care for you, mm -hmm. I will love you, mm -hmm. I will give you what you need, right. not just financially, mm -hmm. but in terms of love, right. in terms of attention, in terms of discipline, I will give you what you need. Mm -hmm. Look. How many people don't, do we, have we not heard stories of where they say that two children born to the same parents, mother and father, they are growing up in the house. Mm. One is pampered. The other they, one is yes. overly disciplined. Yes. It, yes. At the end of the day, the one yes. who is overly disciplined turns out to be a better child, a better than, adult than the one who was over pampered. Mm. Why? The principle is simple. If you go through hardship, you learn to survive. It makes you it's stronger. Tough. It makes yeah. you a survivor. And then you can go through difficulties and you will come out, yeah. right? And then you also learn to be self-sustaining, yeah. which helps you to be productive. Mm. Do you see that thing? So at the end of the day, let's... I like the fact that we're having this conversation. People are calling and sharing yeah. their thoughts. It's important. I just feel like we should be more open-minded mm. as Ghanaians, okay? Um, and I know people, and I wish some of the people that I know who, whose kids are adopted would, would actually be bold about it to say, hey, I'm one of those people, you know, my, I adopted a child 15 years ago. The person's almost finished uni or has finished uni and so on. And give, let's give success stories because yeah. the more we do that, the more people will be like, mm, mm, I've been thinking yes. about this thing. You know what? Let me do this. Quick, anyway, quick. We, we have, have a Hafiz, Hafiz from <laughs> Yendi. Hafiz, good morning. Hello, Hafiz. Can you hear us? Hello. Good yes, morning. Hafiz. How are you? I'm fine, please. Great. Good, good, Let's good. Let's hear your thoughts on the conversation. Uh, please, I will go for yes. You go for yes? Why? Why? Yes, I will go for yes. Okay, why? And my reason is that you may, you may adopt the child and taking good care of the child. Mm. 
God may use that uh, taking good care of uh, him or her to, uh, to bless you with a child. Mm. Okay. So God will use the fact that you've adopted a child um, that's not yeah. yours. You've taken care of the child. God will use that as a way to bless you with mm. your own. That's actually similar to one of the experiences yeah. that I've had, uh, I've, I've experienced, mm. you know, where um, f a couple of friends of mine um, decided. Yes, Havis. He's still on the line. Havis, can you hear us? Okay, it looks, appears we're having some. Sorry. Hello, Havis. Oh. Okay. We lost All right. him. Yeah, so um, I, I, I think his point actually buttresses mm. what I said earlier about the fact that there are people right. who, and you know something, doctors even tell you that when you're stressed about having children, the less likely you are to get pregnant. Yes, that's very cool. I said here earlier that we need to be very intentional about these things, but then again, if you think you are not capable of mm. showing equal love or giving your utmost care and support mm. to any child you are going mm. to adopt, mm. see, don't even stress it because you are going to put yourself through stress and then give the child a childhood that the child will never be happy about. Mm. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, we have a caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, David. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Right. So your thoughts mm. on the topic for discussion, adopting children, yes or no, and why? Mm, I'll go for no. Why? Yeah, you see, there are a whole lot of things happening of late. Mm. You know, if you go to, if you look at a critical, blood is thicker than water. Mm. Most of the times, we always say we are waiting for a child, and the child is not forthcoming. So because of that, you want a child at all means. You just want a child. Mm. You go for a child. Then when you finally get your own child, you begin treating them differently. Mm. Because sometimes the adopted child will do certain things that will not even, <laughs> that if it's your own black child, mm. you will treat the person in the other way around. But because you feel like, yeah, I was not having a child, that's why I went for yeah. that particular child. So you begin behaving well on that child. So most of the times you see that you adopt a child, and when you get your own child, you give different treatment to the child. Mm. And that way, it will make the child even not have psychological stability. Mm. It means that, okay, immediately somebody else mentioned that, do you know that David and wife had you as adopted before they had their own mm. child? Then the child becomes mm. unstable. So the, the child will begin behaving bad or like, it's not just no. It's just something like no. It's no, it's, it's not just good at all. And that one to propagate some of uh, we the youth will start behaving like, I don't want to breastfeed my child, so I have to adopt a child and other stuff. But if you look at way back, when you breastfeed a child, you, the mother, you attach the child to the extent that you know that you carry the child for nine months, you give birth to the child, you, like that kind of mother love is there. But when you adopt a child, you pretend and it, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's true. Okay, David, thank you so much mm -hmm. for your contributions this morning. So, the, for me, this is what I say. Mm. First of all, loving someone is a choice. Yeah. And a commitment. Mm. It's a choice and a commitment. Mm. Simple and short. Mm. Forget about the feeling. Feelings go and come. They mm. change. They, they, they change based on the circumstances that are happening. Right. right? For example, if you are if you're, you're there and then suddenly you get an alert on your phone mm. and it says somebody has dropped 10,000 Ghana in your phone. Mm. In that moment, suddenly a certain feeling of excitement mm. comes on you. Mm. It's a feeling. When that money finishes, another feeling comes. <laughs> it's a feeling. We cannot live life based on those feelings. Mm. Okay, there are certain people I know who are like that, you see. 
But you have to be able to make a choice and a commitment. Mm. Okay, a commitment. Hello, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Your name and where you're calling us from? My name is Abdul. Abdul Fatal calling from Wa. Hi, Abdul. Uh, Abdul Fatal, what are your thoughts on this one? Um, actually, I, 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 I would go in for yes. Okay, why? Yes. I would go in for yes uh, in the sense that for me, it doesn't actually matter whether I, I have children already or I'm yet to have children. Okay. But um, taking care of a child who, mm. who, I mean, who is, who is moving out on what we had a child, I mean, is supposed to have to get a bright future. Mm. I think it's something that is so dear to my heart. Mm. Even on daily basis, the good that we do right. all points out to the fact that we want to make a better society. Mm. Yeah. But that was withstanding. I think a, a major problem that has to got to do with the adoption in this mm. part of our world mm. um, has to do with um, the interference of other relatives of the child. Okay. Sometimes you may get a child and you are giving the child all that it takes. Mm. Especially when the, uh, the person who adopted the child doesn't, I mean, have any children. Mm. It will get to a point when there are interferences. It may cause you a lot of psychological stress and then you, you will be going through a lot. Yeah. yeah. And the other parents, once they realize the child is of age and then it could be of benefit, somehow, you will see the kind of interferences that will come up. Yeah. And that may even end up influencing the child in other ways and yeah. then the way the child will even uh, go towards you. But mm. I think by and large, I think adopting a child is, is good. We cannot uh, consider the, the, I mean, the, the bad aspects of it and then you will decide that children should be adopted. All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Abdul Fatal, all the way from Wa. Um, I no. think that we also need to clarify that um, adoption that we're talking about here um, is the legal adoption right. that we're talking about. Right. Um, having someone's daughter come to live, live with, with you, you. is mm. not adoption. Right. That's not the reference that right. we're making here. It's a legal adoption where you've gone to social uh, welfare, welfare uh, dealt with all mm. the government processes, signed, signed the documents. Mm. The child is legally Handed your child. To you. yes. the legal, legally your child. Okay, and even bears your name mm. in most cases, yes. right? So that's what we're talking about here. And I think that a lot of people think about adoption in the sense of, especially the way, because of the way our, yes. our society is yes. also, yes. you know, built. You know, it's like, oh, we want to in change. Mm -hmm. Then it's like other family members will say, hey, the child is doing well, oh. we now want, we now, she should come, and she should come back to yes. us. Yes. Because the child yes. seems to be yes. doing yes. well, yes. you know. Anyway, we have a call on the line. Hello, good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Anita, can you hear us? Yes, please, I can. Right, share your thoughts. Okay, for me, it's a yes. Okay, and why is that? Because I've got so much love to give. I cannot Aww. just keep it to myself. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, growing up, I, I always told myself that I would want to adopt in the future. I'm already a mother, mm. Mm. but but I still want to adopt in the future. Mm. Mm. Okay. You never know where grace and mercy will come from. There are so yeah. many children out there who need help. Yeah, yeah. So if if you have the means, so far as you have the means, mm. just go to orphanages, you know, those homes, and just adopt them. Mm. Mm. How many are you looking at adopting, by the way? Um, I don't mind adopting six children, ten children. I just want wow. a whole lot of children with me. Wow. That's, that's wow. beautiful. Twenty children. Wow. For me, I don't, I, I, don't, um, I don't know how to put it, but I don't look at whether the child that I'm going to adopt is related to me biologically or genetically. I don't look at those things. Mm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, so, yeah, those things that don't matter to me at all. Okay. 
Yes, yeah, so for me, it's a yes. I would adopt in the near future. And I've already told my mom about it. And he's also he's agreed to it. Mm. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's good. That's good. Anyway. Well, we, we pray for grace, grace for yes, strength, yes. and for a lot of money. Yes, to look so you'll be able to take care of them. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I mean, it's all about love and how much you are willing to give. Yeah. And how far you are willing to go yeah. to take, because it takes a lot of selflessness. It does. You a see, lot but, of intentionality. But you think about it. Think about it. Human beings, we are actually very selfish people, though. <laughs> because think about it. When a child came from your own loins, mm. you feel as though there's a natural attraction yes. to the child. Yes. The child didn't come from your loins, therefore, it's like you're not really mine. Yeah. It's out of. And ya mm -hmm. yeah. Really? Really? Let's grow up, please. Of course. You know, we have to have a better attitude towards children mm. than that. I think that um, if, we, if, we do, if we have these conversations and have them more openly, yeah. you know, people will see that it's actually, it actually saves us the stress mm. of having to go five years, ten years, no children. Mm. It's like you're feeling the pressure. Yes. It's like yes. every day you are you're crying because you don't have a child. And that child you are going to adopt, you do not know what kind of blessings or what kind of grace the that child is going carries. That's going to come with. It's going to come oh, to, your, to your home. Well, we have a caller from Kumasi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Your name, please. I am Henry, calling Henry. from Kumasi. Good, good, good. Henry, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I want to share in your program. Okay. Uh, I think it's a yes. Okay. Why? And I have a personal experience. Thank you. Share with us. Yeah, I adopted a child about, uh, it's now uh, 12, you will, uh, you will be 13 in September. Okay. Wow. And uh, I adopted uh, the child when he was about three months old. Wow. Yeah, wow. and because of stigmatization, I've been able to insulate him so much that even my family members doesn't know that it, it wasn't my wife's uh, own child. Wow. wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, Amazing. Very, very well. Amazing. He's, he's now one of the best schools in Kumasi. Wow. Uh, he's now uh, in GHS1. Okay. Yeah. Okay. GHS1. Okay. And the feeling, the feeling is good. I, 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 I see him as my own mm. because I, I went through the legal process yeah and it's properly adapted yeah yeah and, yeah. and it's good it's good we have to encourage people to do that because yeah. if you go to the orphanage you see a lot of these children there mm. lovely children yeah who like to have the feeling of time in a normal thing like other yeah. children have mm. and i and i think and I think uh, if I if I get a, the opportunity, mm. I'll, I'll go ahead and adopt oh, again. Oh, yeah. that's uh, nice. It's very very good. I want to say kudos to you, Henry, right. uh, for okay. doing for doing an amazing job, and uh, may God give you strength uh, to continue to do same. And um, Amen. your Amen. your your example Amen. is is a is a great one that many should follow. Yeah. yeah. God bless you. God bless you. Indeed. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Kuku, you know, mm. the, the thing that is exciting me about this conversation since we opened the phone lines, the fact that we've had many people saying yes, they'll mm. do it, mm. as compared to the number of people saying no. no. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it, it gives you a good feeling. It mm. gives you a, a feeling of uh, the world is going to be a better place mm. if we have quite a number of people going to thinking reach out like yes thinking like that yeah. reach out to children because yeah. as henry said there are lots of children in the orphanages yeah. they need help and for me and for me i think that if you're going to adopt what he did where the child was three months old mm. that's an ideal age yeah. really that's an ideal age before a year old mm -hmm. it's an ideal age and like he said he's insulated the child from any possibility of people outside yes. that's especially the family members yes. thinking that it's not your wife's mm. child right that's being intentional uh-huh very deliberate mm. very intentional i won't be surprised if they even traveled out of the jurisdiction yes, for a you while know, for and then a, come a back year with a baby and then you come back with the baby the baby is a little older you know it's like hey you, yeah, you know and then it's like hey yeah. your man, your, your yes. your baby, your fool, whatever uh, we know how we do our things and then they assume that 
the, the child is an automatic member of the family. Okay, quick, we have a call on the line. Good mm -hmm. morning, Alex from Bono East. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, uh, I wasn't got a problem. I did very good. Right. Um, Hello, Alex. I'm not in the Okay. But I've got a problem. Alex. Well, Alex, can you hear us? Could Alex, you position yourself yeah. well? We are finding difficult to get to uh, to hear you. Your line is uh, there are hitches in your connection. Um, it's getting better. If you can move around or position yourself well, so that we could get the whole conversation. Uh, hello. Yeah, yes, go ahead. this is fine. Uh, I said, in two cases, you pass before you get a child. Mm -hmm. I apply one five years now. I can't do it because you know, you yeah, didn't bring a lawyer, bring a police man, bring this. That takes almost five years. I think that is that. Oh. So they have to learn from the law uh, to get the child adopted. Okay, Alex, if I heard you right, you've been trying to adopt a child in the last five years. Uh, yes. Yeah. So what's what's the what's the situation? What are they saying? What's the feedback? First, you went. The uh, social work, uh, mm. we were given a form to fail. We went through, we were asked to see a police or a, a police or a report, mm -hmm. and also a lawyer to assist. In fact, we give me a lot of help. Uh, as of now, we haven't got a job. Mm. So, the law that abides this in the report is becoming very difficult for us to get a job. So, mm. like the fact that, if I went to the issue, uh, from the demand, I went to the issue, we are told they are just. I think that you shouldn't give up. Yes. Okay, keep yes. pushing on. Yes. Don't give up. Um, your breakthrough is close, mm. you know, and so I think you just keep pushing on. Hopefully, very soon, um, you'll be able to get your child through the adoption process. You may be an answered prayer to a child somewhere that yeah. is hoping and then hoping on, on God to bring him a helper. So keep pushing through. I am sure that all your efforts are going to be worth it. I mean, if you need to go through all these processes to get the child, mm. they should let you know that things are being done and done the right way. Yeah. So and the child pushing. that is coming yes. is a special one. Of course. So keep pushing, and then we wish you all the best. We hope that the next time we have this conversation or a conversation as such, you will call in to let us know that indeed you've had you've gone through successfully. Thank you. All right, all uh, the best then. Thank you very much. All right. So, yeah. So I mean, as we've had this conversation, I think that we should keep these conversations mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. in our homes, mm -hmm. in our various communities town hall meetings. Right. I think it's important uh, for us to keep having these conversations. And to encourage people to take here, away the stigma. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. sometimes these things affect their children mm, psychologically, mm, emotionally. Mm. It affects their whole yeah. childhood and then they grow up with a different kind of mentality. Yeah, yeah. So we need to take away the stigma. See, let's share a little mm, love. It mm. doesn't take anything. Yeah. Just a little. You, you yeah. may never know how much or what that little amount of love or a hand mm. that you're stretching yeah. out is doing for somebody. Mm. So so let's stop the stigma, spread love, adopt a child, two, three or more, if you can, if you are capable, and then love them and love them so much from your heart, as you would do if you birthed them yourself. Absolutely. Well, we'll take a quick break. When we are back, there's more on Breakfast Daily. Mm -hmm.